not playing it. I mean, seemed normal to me. Same stuff. Try to get out and run. Play aggressive. I think coach was talking about um, at least because like Trump talked about we need to choose an identity, what we're going to be, and the coach was saying something about you know that was probably the fastest you guys had ran since Miami. Was it kind of a concerted effort to, to get out and push the ball like you guys had been shown to do earlier? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's always a, a effort. Um, we're always trying to, you know, push the pace and run. Uh, especially me and Fox on the break is dangerous. So, um, yeah, that's always one, one, you know, a go-to. Like we can, we know we can get a bucket um, by running. I think among the highlights last night, that, that pass that came through Stephen Adams' legs and found you. The nutmeg. Yeah. yeah. How did you? Uh, did you? Did you? I mean, how did that kind of play out? Did you kind of expect the ball to come through his legs that way? I mean, I expected it to. They better deliver that. Um, he just had to deliver it some way, whatever way. That's that's how it got it done, though, is, uh, you know, by nutmegging them. But it was funny. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just cool. <laughs> <laughs> there have been some teams that have tried to kind of ruffle you guys up or get under your skin a little bit. And last night, obviously, there was that little dust up. I was curious from your perspective how you saw things go. Oh, man, that ain't nothing. That's Hollywood, man. You got the two Hollywoodest dudes, Westbrook being one of them. He going to make it look crazier than it really is. Um, no, nah, I mean, I just got hard fouled and he was on me, so I pushed him off and he Hollywood, so he going to come act like he's doing, I don't know, take more than Aquaman to put fear in my eyes, so I don't know, I thought it was funny, though, um, that they try to muck up the game like that because they was losing, so I will take that. I mean, I will do that to you. Yeah. Do you expect kind of more teams to try to do that for you, especially when you're running guys out of the gym? I mean, it might be a way for teams to try to... You know. Yeah, muck it up. I mean, it's, they're frustrated. You know, you got young dudes running them out the gym, and they trying. They not playing like they want to play. So it's it's frustrating on them. So it's yeah, they're gonna do everything they can to try to get you out of Elvin, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was asked about Shepard. Um, I know a lot of fans, you know, have kind of taken notice of what he's kind of added. There's a toughness. There's a, there's a quirkiness. He's certainly a unique dude. Um, how do you view him as a, as a team? Uh, I mean, he's 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 one of our biggest vocal leaders, and like, you know, he got knowledge for days. You know, playing on playoff teams, he's got a championship, championships. <laughs> um, so it's just, yeah, I mean, it's just he got a lot of knowledge that he can give us young dudes, and he bring that that toughness that make you you want to be a dog with him. So, you know, he really just bring the dog out of everybody. And then lastly, you got Utah coming up. You've had a unique situation of being able to see him in preseason. You beat him here, uh, you know, going up there. And they're kind of struggling, falling on some weird times. Do you kind of know what to expect from these guys, or are they kind of Jekyll and Hyde? With who? What's that? For, for what? Just, just for Utah, the Jazz. I mean, you guys saw him a little bit in the preseason, saw him earlier, and then now they've kind of fallen on some tough times, but they've kind of been up and down. Do you kind of know what to expect from them? Yeah. I mean, you know what to expect from every team in the league. Um, they they all play a certain way, and it's all the same. We all run the same plays. So, <laughs> you know, once you get in tune to, like, all the actions is the same and, like, it's really personnel and knowing, knowing, knowing the personnel well. Um, like, we know that they're going to play back and, let Ru like, funnel everything to Rudy. We know we're going to have to, you know, stop Donovan in transition, stop, like, just little, like, you know, little things like that, little niches, like, we know that Joe Ingles is going to shoot the hell out the ball. We know that he's going to control, you know, the tempo by him driving and pulling people in to spray it. Like, you know, they, they, they do so well at taking your focus off the ball and, like, spraying it for a three. And that's, like, that's their whole offense is these dudes are going to drive and then whoever helps, we're spraying it. It's like... It's easier said than done, though. You know what I'm saying? You mentioned Rudy. I mean, you've had, you had a tremendous game against us when you faced him. And then you're coming off a game against Adams. Those are two of the you know better defensive centers. What's that kind of challenge like? Uh, It's like that. You know, if you want to be with them, you got to play with them. So the challenge is just like accepted. I'm trying to do what they're doing. So let me go out there and play with them. Um, and it doesn't go much farther than that. Like, I'm not worried about anybody <laughs> you know what i'm saying that is the last worry i'm i'm my worry is 
it's on myself and my teammates. So it's not like when we go play other teams, it's, I'm not. I know what you're about to do. I know your personnel, and that's all I need to know. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care too much about y'all. So I just need to know what we need to know and, and get the job done. Side dish. I gotta. I gotta think. I gotta go with the cornbread stuffing. Cornbread stuffing for the side dishes. Yeah, that gets me right. That gets me. <laughs> Is that dressing or stuffing? <laughs> I, I dress. Black people call it dressing. <laughs> White people call it stuffing.